Hello YouTube viewers, another tour review and a different area I'm reviewing. But today it is on the Toho Kaiju Orga G17. Yeah, so the tag, it's Bandai. So Orga Toho Kaiju, I think I don't read Japanese. 1999 G17. Um, nice tag. Oh, all the boring stuff on the side. Some of it's boring. I don't know what it says right there. Tokaiju, I'm believing. Say only in Japan. 60 meters. Or, yeah. No profile pic. The Japanese poster. It's not like most of the Tokaiju tags, but I don't have any of them, so. Don't know anything about them. Just want to see. There we go. Alright, so. Or yeah, right before um, I do scaling, I'll do history, which is a new thing I'm trying to do. So the history on this guy, um, he was a spaceship. He landed on Earth 65 million years ago from Godzilla 2000. Uh, a submarine came up, lights beamed on him, you know, woke up, got angry. Um, looked, then he came aboard, looked at the people in a weird way and looked inside their cells. Uh, went off, nearly destroyed the boat. Uh, went to... Um, Nearly, nearly, nearly destroyed Godzilla with a beam in his space form, and then Godzilla and him had a little clash thing. You could see the metal on it, yada yada yada. Um, he comes up to the giant building, lands on top of it. And, uh, people try to blow it up. It doesn't. It gets angry and just blows up the building. Um, then. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm a little daydreaming. And then um, Godzilla comes back, they had another fight, and then a little thing pops out, and it kind of like Orga, then it pops out and turns into Orga. Laser, and Godzilla destroys the spaceship, and that's when this guy comes. All that you see at the beginning is a little and a little movement of the hands. There you have it. There's Orga. So they fight a little bit, you know, brawl. So then his jaw both jaws like and a weird thing comes out he tries to eat Godzilla but he uses his nuclear pulse where his body turns all like his breath in that movie just explodes he is right there that's where his body is right on that ribs and he roars and he falls down to crumble into pieces and that's the end of Orca so scaling um, I don't have G16 Godzilla but hopefully for Christmas I'll get him and this review will happen right before Christmas. Be released on the twenty fourth. So hopefully I'll get a few Ultraman and Godzilla monsters. So uh yeah, most people complain because they say Godzilla's supposed to be right there to him. Well Foreign is supposed to be sixty meters and Godzilla's usually eighty. Should be like Yeah. This is good. G six G sixteen Godzilla is gonna be like that big, so But that's okay, I like that. And another monster from the Millennium series. Kiryu. Yeah, Kiryu is supposed to be bigger than Godzilla, so this is what they would look like together. So articulation, arms move like that. They should go like this, so you can go boom, boom, boom. Um, I don't really recommend breaking the glue seals, but um, one got loose and kind of did break, so you know, go off his arm. Ah. But the good thing about this is that you can turn it. Of course, you see that, but you turn it, and this is like the cool, cool part about it. But it looks awkward, and you can have it out the side down, and then his arm would go wah. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't recommend it. Neither the back. The back's got the glue seal, but, you know. Some of it's already broke on it before I had it. Um, I got it for Christmas, like, three years ago. Like, back in 2007. Uh, my grandparents got it for me. They said it was about $100 with tag on the internet site. Let me guess. Claw Mark. Sucks. Kind of. A few of their Godzilla figures are really nice, like the Godzilla Final Wars 8 inch. They got a really nice price on them. God dang. It's got a nice price. So, 
legs also do, but the arms get in the way, so they can't. They can go 360, but you have to force them, and I really don't want to do that. And tail. And there you go. There you have it. One, two, three, four, five. Five points of articulation plus six, seven. So kind of, but kind of eight. <laughs> but yet I'm not breaking this glue seal. Some people have broke the glue seal and able to put stuff in it. Oh yeah. A little weird. Yeah, well, that's bad. past my time I go to bed, but oh well. Detail, red mouth, you know. Um, and most people don't really say this. Most people probably don't know this. And it's supposed to be like this. Look at his teeth. Uh, he's, he's got uneven teeth, like few teeth missing up here and all that. All that. I love that. This is Regenerator G1, I'm thinking, doing its work, even up in here, because then the rest of his body looks like it. His feet look nice. Underneath the feet, that's cool. He's got a bunch of edgings, like his tail. You don't see his tail too much on the back of him much either. So, you know, this figure really shows you what he looks like, and the games really, really just suck. Um, the bad thing about his mold, though, you know, here he looks fine. Here he looks fine. Here he looks fine, but... Yeah, this is out, like, a little bit. Like, they didn't press it in or something, but... So here's the cannon. So, this guy gets an easy 10 out of 10. Um, rarity, I have to put this. Prepare will pay a lot of money for him. Um, there was one that was, I think, used that was going up for like twenty nine ninety nine or something like that, but that that was like long, like um, three four days ago, so it probably ran out like sometime today. So it 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 was nice price, but um, you're gonna be outbid if it goes for like twenty five dollars and it's bid and it's brand new. Believe me, you're gonna get outbid in forty five seconds. This guy is like really big. Like I was gonna get a Tokyo SOS. I was bidding on it and everything. At the last second, it was brand new and everything. At the last second, someone pulls out and beats me on it. So yeah, luckily it wasn't Orca though. So he goes good with figures. So ten out of ten, and see you guys later.